try and change perspective and stand on that side of the room. Hope the camera is um, not messing things up. I want to share a little bit with you about um, revenue management within Starwood Hotels and Resorts. Um, different organization, big organization, and it doesn't always mean that it's easier to implement the culture. I think it's actually more difficult because <coughs> getting everybody aligned uh, takes, takes a lot more time. Um, so as I mentioned, building a culture takes time. So for those of you that were hoping for the secret recipe to be implementing it tomorrow um, back home, unfortunately, um, that's not the case. It, it takes time, and like any culture, it takes time to, to build, but in revenue management, as it is a very young function, we're still <coughs> sort of learning about ourselves, um, and as revenue management keeps evolving, we need to redefine our culture and who we are and, and what, what we need to do. So it, it is something that, that takes time, and within Starwood, um, we sort of started in, in 2000, I think, um, we started having dedicated revenue managers in some of our hotels. So that's a long, a long time ago. Um, and, and the first big milestone for us was around 2005, we made a conscious decision to say revenue management should report to a uh, general manager and, and split up from sales. A lot of controversial um, uh, reactions to that, as you can imagine. But that was a clear decision um, and, and a, a message to the organization of where we wanted revenue management uh, to go. In 2008, we launched a couple of big global projects, strategic projects, where do you want the company to go? And Revenue Management was in the, on the forefront of that. And it was very important for us, again, that the senior leadership team really supported Revenue Management. I think it's crucial, if you want to make a big change, um, you need to make sure you have the support from the top, like the owners that Stefan mentioned for us, the senior leadership team in the, in the organization to then um, filter that down across the organization. And out of that, we redefined revenue management the structures um, the, around 2010 when we said every hotel should have a director of revenue management, part of the executive committee, and again, still reporting to the general manager. So there was an, another redefinition of and repositioning of revenue management in our organization. In 2012-13, we finally had a global person looking after revenue management for Starwood, where before every division, every region was sort of doing sort of doing their own thing. And for a consistency perspective, that obviously wasn't optimal. So that was another recognition, and it really helped us to shape um, where, we are, where we are today. But it still continues, and, and we're, we're continuous to, um, to redefine that culture. And as, as we mentioned before, there's different markets that react differently and that are more mature, and you can go in a different pace. So while there's some markets that are a little bit ahead and some that are a little bit behind, but with that end goal in, in mind, we keep on going and rebuilding our, our culture. We also invested heavily in some of the tools, um, and making sure that we have consistent tools in the organization and have consistent ways of measuring the results. Have some KPIs that we all look at, like the market segments, et cetera, um, that were already mentioned. And that was also important to align the organization and that we all talk the same language. So to build a culture, you need to be consistent in everything you do. Overall, we need to change the perception of revenue management. Um, still today, after all these years, um, when I speak with some general managers, some owners, um, some, some people in the organization, we still have the perception that revenue management is this geek in the corner. Um, you get a lot of numbers and numbers and numbers, and if you're lucky, you get a few graphs, right? Um, and we need to change that perception. Um, revenue management is a fantastic, a fantastic discipline, but we need to get out of our cocoon. We need to show that we're a beautiful butterfly, um, and, and we, we haven't always done enough in, in doing that. So that's one of the things that we're, we're focusing on a lot, in making sure that on, our, on my level, in the regions, and on property, we really show what we're doing and what we're capable of. And I think that is crucial to really build that culture consistently, uh, consistently within the organization. So in order to change the, the, um, the perception, you need to change the leadership style. And there's a couple of things that, um, oops, I think that the, the animation didn't work there, but that's okay. Um, so there's a couple of things there that I wanna, I wanna touch on is that we need to get out of our silo. We need to get um, working with the different teams in the hotels. We need to not only understand our own strategy, we need to communicate that strategy, communicate it effectively. Um, but also understand what happens in other parts of the organization, in operations. Uh, obviously, sales and marketing, which we're closer with, but also understanding what happens from a 
from a cost perspective um, and, and total revenue management, profitability, and, and really understand how the organization um, is working so that we can anticipate that and support that and drive results for the entire organization. Celebrate success. We talk a lot about we're behind budget or we're behind in this sec segment, which is good. We need to understand that so that we can avoid making mistakes or, or, um, or adapt to, to new realities. But it's important to celebrate the success. We are quite humble as an organization or as a function. Um, where other functions sort of shout. Whenever they, they did anything, uh, they get out of bed, they shout and they speak and everybody loves it, right? We need to do more of that because that's the only way that we can show what we've achieved and, and there's a return on investment. If we in revenue management cannot prove a return on investment on the talent and the tools, then I don't think that any function can, but we need to do more of that. And the last thing, we, we love our systems, we love our numbers, uh, we love our tools, and we tend to talk a lot about them. Uh, and they're important, but they are just tools. Um, and sometimes we speak too much about our systems and not what we've done with it. Um, and, and people outside of revenue management are maybe not as interested in the tools. They wanna see what you've done with it, and we need to showcase that more. Um, and the same thing, we have numbers and numbers and reports. Today, we have all kinds of systems that help us um, analyze and, and use big data to take decisions. But I sometimes see a lot of numbers and you need to get an actionable item in there. What do I actually do with that? And that's something that you need to show to the rest of the organization to really get that buy-in and have them understand what we're actually doing. Ultimately, it's all about the talent. The talent is gonna bring in the, num uh, the, the money. Um, we need to multitask, we need to do, you know, the, the revenue management teams of today are completely <coughs> different than they were um, in, in the past. And where you have the, the tools and the systems, if you don't use them effectively, you don't have somebody to drive them, um, it, it's gonna go nowhere. If you have a, a race car and yet you don't have a driver, it's, it's faster to walk, right? Or you have somebody without a license, probably you're gonna get, get into trouble and get into an accident. So the talent is really crucial. Um, we spend a lot of time on developing our talent um, and, and I think that also that has changed the way we do that over the last couple of, couple of years. So we, we mentioned before getting the right talent in is crucial um, and there's gonna be some sessions about that a little bit later. I get some water. Um, so we won't spend too much time on that but as I mentioned, revenue management has changed. So the, the type of revenue management panel that we need is also different. Who was a successful revenue manager 10 years ago may not be that today. So we need to make sure we, we adapt the recruitment process to what we need today. Once we have those people on board, we need to make sure that, um, that we train them and we get them up to speed so that they can actually be successful in our organization but we spend a lot of time on uh, internal development. So we prefer to hire people on a, on, a, on a number two or number three position from the outside and develop them from within so that the leadership uh, that we have within our hotels are actually internally trained. But we can't always do that in some markets where we grow very fast, um, but that's always a preference. So we spend a lot of time on, on doing that. We've launched a series of, uh, we call them the Revenue Management Academies, which are different uh, courses. We actually redesigned them in Asia Pacific last year. Um, and there is a series of them that help the directors of revenue management throughout their careers. So it starts with some basic ones, get the job done, you know, how to use the tools, how to, to do your day-to-day -day work, um, and moving slowly, slowly into um, being more strategic. Um, in the beginning, it's more about the function, about revenue management being tactical, and that strategy and that leadership aspect is something that slowly, slowly we're weaving into that. Um, talking about presentation skills and, and how, how to really be effective in your job. So while we focus a lot about revenue management training, I think we're slowly moving a little bit away from that in, in developing people more as that leadership profile in the organization. We've got a program called Starwood Careers, which is a general um, development uh, program that we use for people to move forward in their careers. There's different tracks. Um, it, with somebody, for, for instance, that's not on an XCOM level, how do you get to that XCOM level? It has nothing to do with revenue management, that's, that's pure leadership skills. Um, so we have these people enrolled and we were, we were very much using that within revenue management as well. And the great thing of that is that you're exposed to other people 
um, in the organization. So you're in that track with people from finance, from sales, from operations, and you all learn together about how do you become a better leader in the organization. And I think that is a very important component as well of developing our talent um, over time. And it's not just about um, developing our own teams, but we, we I, I think it's crucial to develop the people that are not in revenue management. And um, last year, we launched something called Arm Open House. We've actually launched it here in Asia Pacific and we're looking and rolling it out globally. Um, when it's a one day training that we do um, uh, to non-revenue management associates. So we do it normally when we have a revenue management academy um, somewhere in market. We stay one extra day and we invite um, other people to, to come. So we have 27 sessions um, uh, for, for this year. Um, and it's not about training them on how to become revenue management professionals. Um, yes, they need to understand some of the basics of what we do, but it's more about how can we add value to your function or how can we work together so that they start understanding that we're not working in our silos, but we can really um, optimize the performance of the hotel together as a team and build that, um, um, that rapport with them and close that, close that gap. Um, so, so far we launched it in November last year. We've trained already over more than, uh, more than 200 associates across the organization from different functions, sales and marketing, we had GMs, people from finance, HR, et cetera, et cetera. So that's something that this year we're heavily investing in, in building that culture um, across, the, across the organization. So just a couple of things, just to, to wrap it up um, from, from my side, is that building the culture takes time. So you have to have a plan, you need to stick with it, and you need to make sure that you, you keep on going. It's not gonna be easy, but um, eventually it will, it will pay off. Uh, we need to change the perception of revenue management. And we need to rebrand ourselves and we need to make sure that we position ourselves as this, those leaders in the organization. It's all about working as a team, understanding the, what happens outside of revenue management and being able to communicate effectively um, our strategies and, and our, um, our interest in that organization. We should be the ones driving the strategy. We shouldn't be the, the order takers. We, we have the data, we have the, um, the facts and figures to help the organization drive strategy. And we need to make sure we celebrate the success to then show the return on investment on what we've, what we've been doing. And in the end, make sure that we have the right people in the right place. Um, so ultimately, what we need to become is we need to be a butterfly. So that's, that's my, um, my um, little section. We just wanted to see if there's anybody that has any comments or questions to either one of us before we hand it over to the next speakers.